Hi guys, welcome to the second episode of how to make a doom like glory kill system in unity. Let's get started. I forgot to film myself modeling. I don't think it's that important because it was a 6 cubes for the demon. Anyways, here we are in unity with our models. Now we'll just set up the testing area. Now I'll just be using the player controller script that I've already written. You can also use the one unity provides, it doesn't really matter because that's not the point of this video. All the models with the unity project will be in the video's description. Now let's just rig and animate them. Don't judge me because I'm using frag motion which many of you should have never heard of and I'm using the free version with pop-ups every now and then. I'm broke you know. Anyways, we'll have just two animations for now, the idle animation and the glory kill animation. Let's see, everything looks fine, we're good to go. Now let's just create the glory kill animation. We'll create it by moving our demon in front of us at the first frame and our player will just punch it. His head will just burst off, we'll also create some particle effects for the blood later. And the demon falls to the ground. So everything looks fine. Moving on. Here in Unity we'll set up the animator to play the animations. So for some reason the demon is just stuck there. It took me some time to fix. Just resetting the keyframes for the idle animation fixed the issue. So, I've just used the demon model to create a game object as the enemy. Now, we move on to write the scripts. Okay, let's just create a C-Sharp script and call it Glory Kills. First, let's just create the variables. A private variable called player will assign it to the game object the script is attached to. Now if player presses mouse button 0 that is left mouse button, we'll use raycast to see if the player is aiming at the enemy. This tutorial will move on assuming you know the basics of C sharp. If you don't just search and you can find great C sharp tutorials on YouTube. Anyways, we'll just create a camera variable. So now if the ray hits the demon, we want to destroy the demon and play the animation. Let's add a capsule collider to the demon. Now we'll tag the demon as demon. Makes sense. If we want different types of enemies, we can create many tags. Now, if the ray hits the demon, we'll change the bool in Unity Animator called Punch and set it to true. So the animation will be played. We'll also create a hand animator variable and make it serialized. If you don't already know the function of serialized field, it just makes the private variables visible in the inspector. We need to change the animation back to idle after glory kills. Now we wanna take the player to demon's position. So let's create a variable. It'll be a vector tree and we'll call it pos, which is short for position. It will be equal to the demon's position and boom, we got our first glory kill. Now we'll just increase the size of the demon and change the animation speed. And we'll also have to increase the position we, we have to be teleported on on the y axis. See? Perfect. This is it for this episode of creating a glory kill system in Unity. I've also realized that the recording audio after writing everything is hard so from next time I'll improve that. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode. Pene pene tene. Give me your, give me your, give me your attention, baby.